in my last video, I showed these canvases that I've been working on, and um, I thought I'd just show you where I'm at with those, and I have a kind of sort of an idea of where I'm going with them today anyway. Might change tomorrow. Um, what I did, I took them, first thing I did today, I took them out in the garage and distressed them a little bit. Don't know how well you can see, but I just kind of made the paper look really chewed up. Oops, sorry, text message. Um, but I think it looks kind of cool. I'm going to show you how I did that just as soon as I shut my phone off. I just used my drill. I've got one of these, um, you know, these brass scrubber bit thingies and uh, stuck it on the drill and then you have to do this outside because it's really messy and then just went zh 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 all over it and there you go. Juice it up. Does a whole lot better job than sanding because, especially with these canvases because they are heavily textured. And if I go at it with sandpaper or with a sanding block, it's going to do a really good job of distressing the top layer, but not underneath. Or the, not really underneath, but the, the recessed areas. That's what I'm trying to say. With that little brush thing, I could get into the low spots and not just the high spots. Because I notice, you know, when you see stuff, distressed stuff that people have done, when they just hit the high spots, it it looks artificially distressed you know if if it was really distressed you know it, it would be high spots and low spots in somewhat high spots more but you know so it to me it just looks more naturally distressed um i think what i'm going to do with these here's where i got my inspiration i was looking through my art journal the other day i haven't done a page in over a month and um, I ran across this page. This is one of my favorite pages that I've ever done, like ever, ever. And I don't know why. Um, I'm normally not a red type person. I'm normally not a flower type person. But I really love the way this turned out. So this was kind of my inspiration. I thought, hmm, okay, maybe I need a big honking flower on my canvases. So that's kind of the direction that I'm going right now. I cut, let me show you. Ooh, let me turn the ceiling fan. I'm in my art room today, so I know we're kind of at a weird angle. This is strange, but just, you know, work with me here. Okay, can you see that? I've kind of laid out the flower shape. There we go. I just cut some petals out of an old dictionary. Just some random. I did three sizes. I did kind of a big and then uh, is that medium? I can't even tell now. Yeah. And then oops, a big, a medium, and then a small like that. And because that's my tentative plan is to put the big ones, the medium ones, the small ones instead of having just the, you know, one size like I did on that one. So it'll have more depth and dimension and I think I do want to kind of raise it up off the page like I did on that one which means I might I might have to back these with something so they're they'll be stiffer and can stand the you know that kind of treatment but I'm thinking too okay now that I've totally destroyed my whole flower shape you won't get the full effect but I found these um tin can tops and they would just make adorable flower centers and they are just the right size don't you think I do so that's where I'm at I'm not sure about color or um, much of anything else right now I'm just thinking big honking flower that is all I know um, I do want to work some more on the background before I start on the flower and since I kind of have an idea of where I'm going, that helps me to get some ideas about the background, too. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to add, I have several pages of this. These are so awesome. There are several 
letters from 1920, they're 25 and 26, then a man wrote home to his wife, and he starts every one of them, Dear Sweetheart and Baby Boys. And he just tells what he's been doing, how he's feeling. I can't tell. It, it's almost like he's writing from a hospital or a sanatorium or something. Because, um, you know, I don't think it's a war thing. I don't know. I can't tell. I can't tell what it is. I think he's he's been hospitalized somewhere. And he's writing back to his family. But they're, they're just precious. So I think I'm going to put a page or two of these on here. Like maybe right there. Glue it down. Do some more distressing. Throw some more paint on there. And like I said, I don't know about colors. But um, they'll come. I'll just keep throwing colors down until something that I throw down, you know, just looks really good. Uh, so that's where I am with that. And I have another project, because you know, one is never enough. And I'm probably going to make you seasick doing this. But I'll, I'll try to do it slowly and carefully. Because I've been doing a little rearranging in the art room. And I've made tons of these, um, now my tripod's messed up. Sorry, hang on. There we go. Tons of these cardboard box containers. Because my, my paper was starting to become a problem. I was throwing it into bins and then having to dig in the bins to find what I was looking for. Starting to be kind of a pain. So I just got some, reused some different cardboard boxes. There's some cereal boxes. There's a, that's, that's Q-tips right there. Um, that's the box from my new router. There's some post mailing boxes. There's all kinds of stuff. But I think I finally got them kind of configured the way I want with the stuff that I want in each one so that as I collect my junk mail, I can sort it and put it away and find it easier. But what I need to do now is I want to go in, I, just, I want to spray paint all these boxes first. That's step one. And then I don't know if I will paint them or cover them with paper or fabric or what. But I'm going to pretty them up a little bit because they're kind of ugly. They're functional, but they're ugly. But I did that on this whole little um, area right here. So I have not only junk mail, but I've got some of my painted papers. Um, this over here is my scrapbook papers not all of it it's just kind of the parts and pieces of papers and the ones i've pulled out and have been using i have a another place where i keep the papers all separated back here is the um, scrapbook pads and then my painted papers are back behind and i've got okay right here i don't know if i can get down in there where you can see dark in there. Mm -hmm. This is kind of my to be filed little bin. I need to put those away. I always have a to be filed section no matter what because I'm real big on you know find a place to put it so that it's neatly there while it's waiting to go in its permanent place. You know gotta have that. But I've got little a little container here with my chipboard pieces and journal spots and then back behind there there's some uh, index tab doolies and I think that's it but I did that all last week and I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out so there we go on the downside what I used to keep there is that stack of books those are the books, like this one, this is the dictionary that I pulled all those pages out of. And I've used a lot of pages out of this dictionary. It's one of my favorites. And the rest of those, they're all books that I pull from. So books that I can rip up, tear apart. You know, that's kind of my stash of books on hand. And i got a place for them, but... I don't know where to put them now that I've got all my paper out where I can see it and sort it and use it, which I love. But now I've got those books. 
So I don't know. I'll come up with something. Maybe I just need to build a bookshelf. I don't know where I would put that though. Like the only spot I can think of that it might go is up maybe above the closet. But you know, I don't know. I use those books quite a bit. I could put a shelf there. I could put a shelf above the window. Still, that's going to be kind of hard for me to reach. I'm not sure. I'll come up with something. Um, anyway, meantime, here's where I am on my little uh, canvas project. I'm thinking flower. I'm thinking tin can in the middle. I don't know. So, I'm just going to keep working on it and see what happens. If you have any fab ideas for it that you think would be better, just let me know. Well, I worked on these canvases for most of the day, and I think I've got them to a place where I like them. I think the backgrounds are done. I added a few more papers and a lot of paint. I don't know how well you can see the layers that are in there. When I get further along, I'll do this downstairs where I've got better lighting. Or during the day, that would be good. But lots of layers, lots of texture, um, lots of color, but it's all soft color. And that's what I was wanting. So, I think I'm happy with it. Um, there's my little prototype flower that I think, I think I'm going to go with it. Of course, I'll do something to this. I don't know what, but, you know, I'll make it, I'll make it cute. And I just want a really big dimensional flower in the middle. And I don't know, I'm thinking fabric of some kind somewhere. I don't know if maybe I want to combine it with the dictionary pages or what? I don't know. I'm just seeing muslin or lace or something. Um, maybe I need to add it into the background. Strips of fabric. Maybe I should do that in the middle. I could make a fabric something for the middle. I don't know. It just needs some muslin, I think. Um, so, I don't, I'll figure it out. Anyway, that's where I'm at. I'm going to, these are just my kind of, you know, prototype petals. I'm going to cut out my real ones and um, start thinking about how I'm going to paint them. Because it'll take me forever. It's the, the thing I did, and I don't even know why I do this. I guess if I planned better and didn't make it up as I went along, it wouldn't happen. But I don't know how to do that because I just end up putting layers and layers and layers of paint on and then I take it off. And then I put some more on and then I take some more off. And maybe if I would just decide ahead of time what I'm doing, that wouldn't happen. But I don't know. Anyway, I think it's going to work. Um, okay, that's it for now. We'll see how these progress over the next few days.